Hi, I'm Catherine from Taste of Home. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really tender and juicy chicken for a stir fry using a process called velveting. Velveting is a method of quickly cooking meat in hot water or hot oil for a stir fry. The result is a really tender, juicy meat that's perfect in your stir fry. We're gonna start by making a marinade. I've got two egg whites, and I'm just gonna froth that up a little bit with my whisk. So as soon as it starts to get frothy, then we're gonna add in a little soy sauce, and a teaspoon of cornstarch. The cornstarch is really gonna help tenderize the meat. So we'll just whisk that around. And then I'm going to put in just a dash of white pepper. That's enough. Give it a little whisk. And then I'm gonna add this marinade to a bigger bowl that then we'll add our, our meat to. Today I'm using chicken, but you could use beef or pork for this, it'll work just as well. And since I'm going to use this in a stir fry, I like to cut my chicken in strips. If the chicken breast is thick, I like to cut it in half lengthwise so I can get a little thinner strip. And I like my pieces to be pretty equal in size. It doesn't have to be exact, but it helps it cook evenly so everything is done at the same time. So after I cut my chicken strips, I'm putting them right into the marinade. And I'll continue. I've got about two pounds of chicken here. This is so good in a stir fry, but it's equally as delicious in a, in a nice Asian salad or in any other chicken salad, really. Now that I've got all my chicken cut into pretty equal sized pieces, I'm just going to toss it around in this marinade. This marinade is gonna help this meat be really tender and juicy. The soy sauce is gonna help break down the fibers in the meat a little bit, break down those proteins, so we get a nice, moist, finished product. And then I'm just going to cover it with a little plastic wrap. I'm gonna marinate this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna bring a large pot of water to a boil, and I'm gonna add a little salt to it. This will also help tenderize the chicken. Now that our chicken's done marinating and our water has come to a boil, we're gonna drop in a few pieces of chicken at a time. We don't want that water to cool down too quickly, so I'm just gonna put in a few at a time. You can see that the bubbles have already settled down, so just putting in a few pieces of chicken have cooled down that water. It's just fine, but that's why we don't wanna put in too many at once. So we're gonna let this cook for about three minutes and then it's gonna be ready for your stir fry. So our chicken has gone from pink to a nice milky white, so it's already done. Then I'm just going to put in a few more pieces and repeat the process. So here it is, my delicious stir fry, made with what is really restaurant quality chicken. Here's velveting.